Dry chap lips are a common occurrence in the dry winter months. Sometimes during summer, in hot dry weathers, dry air can cause loss of plasticity of keratin and vermilion, leading to sores and dry, scaly lips. Saliva contains digestive enzymes that can further break down skin of the lips, so licking lips is no good idea. The lower lip usually becomes inflamed. Chronic chapped lips can progress to crusting and bleeding. Generally inflammation of lips is called chylitis. The therapeutic management of chylitis is symptomatic and etiological. For dry chapped lips, avoidance of lip sucking, lip balms, or any other causative agent. And the local application of petroleum jelly is helpful. If chapped and inflammation of lips are caused by allergens it is called allergic contact chylitis. Most common allergen are components of lipstick. For example, myroxylon perere and nickel. Treatment, excluding the allergen responsible and applying a low to medium intensity topical steroid and emollients. Sunrays can cause inflammation of lips, which is called actinic chylitis. It is more common with white people, having low skin tone. In long term it can cause cancer of lips. Treatment, liquid nitrogen is advised in case of focal mild or moderate actinic chylitis. Eczematous chylitis, is chronic inflammation of lips. Which accounts major of cases in chronic chylitis. It has allergic basis. Dryness, fissuring, edema, and crusting is common. It is important to determine and avoid etiological factor food, lipstick, hygiene products, toothpastes, medication and almost any product can cause hypersensitivity reaction. Therapy includes mostly topical corticosteroids of low to medium potency and emollients, which may be combined. Angular chylitis, also known as angular stomatitis. It manifests as a roughly triangular area of erythema and edema at one, or more frequently both, angles of the mouth. The most common cause of angular chylitis in adults is a fungal infection, congida albicans, and less commonly, Staphylococcus aureus. For treatment antifungal medication or antibiotics are used. For congida infection, topical therapy with clotrimazole troches, myconazole mucoadhesive tablets, or nistatin swish. Herpes labialis, cold sore, is a common cause of infectious chylitis. A lesion caused by recurrence of a latent herpes simplex infection can occur in the corner of the mouth. Dicosinol, a saturated fatty alcohol, is a safe and effective topical application for cold sores. Acyclovir, pencyclovir, Bamcyclovir and balacyclovir also effective.